I believe every storage unit has a treasure, right? Why do people store things? Why do they spend big money to store their junk? Craziness. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. Today's video, guys, we're going to wrap up the recent storage unit that I paid roughly about $52 for. These three units were a mess. They were... They were sad to know that the people own these belongings and the way they lived, the way they just treated their items, just tossed in there. Um, the whole buying of these three units was a gamble. You know, it was also kind of a desperate thing. I was at the auction and I was like, you know what? Don't want to waste a day away here. And they went really too, relatively cheap. So I was like, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's see if we can find some treasures. So here we are right now. As I've said in previous videos, you know, I'm trying to do these storage units in a fast period of time, right? A lot of items do take some time to sell on eBay, especially. So keep that in mind. But uh, we did sell some items, which is which is great. We made some money. So let's just jump right in the video. And let's see what we do today. All right. So we've got some change here and some gift cards. We got a dollar forty-two in change. Walmart gift card zero balance, and a Starbucks thirty cents. So nothing too crazy here, just some pop money and a little bit of latte coffee money. So let's get into what's sold on e-commerce land. All right, so let's dive into this video, guys. We have $52 in this unit. 12 of that 52 was dump fees. There was a lot of trash that uh, we had to take to the dump, which isn't a big deal. It's about two miles down the road. This facility was actually just not even a mile from my house, so I didn't spend a lot of transportation costs in terms of gas and wear and tear on the vehicle. But... What was neat about this unit, um, there was a lot of junk, but there was some sellable items. And for $52 here, we had 50 opportunities of items that were listed online. That does not include the local items, which we'll talk about later here. But just to give you an idea right there, if we just took $52 divided by the 50, I mean, we've got less than, we've got about roughly a dollar like five in each item I'm going to show you here. So this one here, this was... Uh, a pilot your onboard witness vehicle dash cam camera 720p with four gigabytes this took 13 days to sell on ebay and we sold it um, via promotions um, not promoted listings but uh, we ran a sale for 25 percent off and we got 13 dollars and 46 cents shipped for it so this came out of the unit as well it was a cabela's roughneck men's work outdoor insulated heavy coat jacket 2xl it was pretty filthy and dirty as you can see from the pictures there we did clean it. it. It looked a lot better once we cleaned it. So we decided, let's just throw it to auction. You know, uh, Cabela's jackets, they're, they're like 50, 60 bucks in the store. So we figured, you know what, let's throw it out to a uh, seven-day auction on eBay, see what we got. Um, we didn't do too well with this one, honestly. It didn't make very much money at all. But we did get a bid and got it sold. It went for $2.20 plus $14.85 for a grand total of $17.05 shipped. This took roughly 22 days to sell on eBay. It's a Volvo OEM Genuine Smart Key Keyless Remote Car Transmitter Key Fob for an S60. Didn't bring a lot of money, but sold $8.95 with free shipping. This was a decent find. It's Invictuous Paco Rabanne. Probably butchering that name, but uh, I love selling men's cologne, women's perfume on eBay. That's really excellent, especially when it's used or brand new. This one was about 85% full, 3.4 ounces of men's spray cologne. And uh, this took one day to sell on eBay. We took an offer of $30 with free shipping. So we get a lot of craziness here on YouTube, especially with, uh, you know, the, the platforms we sell on. You know, when people find out our stores, people like to kind of mess around, which is, which is not cool. It's, my, it's, it's our livelihood, you know, but it happens. And this was, uh, I had a feeling here with this item when I listed it, you know, that there might be some issues. So one person decided to kind of correct me and said, this is not what it is and blah, blah, blah. And they just... They gave me a lowball offer. So let me tell you what I, my title was on this. It was Arizona Prison Inmate Handmade Amazing Tramp Art Cigarette Folded Paper Swan. Now I use the term cigarette because people search for prison cigarette made items, right? Even though I don't think a lot of these prisons anymore, you're allowed to have cigarettes. I don't know. But um, the person just gave me crap on it. And I was trying to sell it for like 59 bucks. Um, but anyway, with three days went by. They they tried to correct us and then they just threw a lowball offer of... Uh, ten dollars i said hey, you know what laughs on you <laughs> i'm gonna actually sell you a piece of paper of some art and maybe you could turn around and flip it maybe you could do whatever it doesn't matter i just need it sold 
And uh, it, we took the offer. So ten dollars plus five sixty six shipping for a total of fifteen dollars and sixty six cents for some Arizona prison art. Here we have a Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades Darker Blu-ray two disc set here. And this took uh, nine days to sell on eBay for $5.95 with free shipping. Here we have a Canon PG-240XL OEM black ink cartridge, brand new. Uh, this one took one day to sell on eBay and we got $19.95 with free shipping for it. This took two days to sell on eBay via promoted listings. Sensi Authentic Tabletop Base Nightlight Plug-In Pedestal Stand New in Box. And we got $16.95 shipped for it. Here we have a Sensi Authentic Cashmere Wickless Wax 2.4 ounce bar brand new. And this sold with taxes included uh, for $8.43 and sold within 24 hours on eBay. This sold within 24 hours on eBay. It's a Sensi Authentic Wickless Wax Lot of Four. Open Bars Radiant Satin Sheet Spruce. And uh, we got uh, $10.90 with free shipping on it. This took 21 days to sell on eBay. And it's sold via promoted listings. We took a best offer, which I think would be nice if eBay was to tell you, hey, you have a best offer on a promoted listing item, right? Um, because you can't really tell when you get an offer, hey, is this going to be sold via promoted and you get dinged with the promoted listing fees, right? Anyway, something to think about. Maybe eBay can change it down the road, but I think it's something that's a little skeptical, you know, because, uh, you know, we had this item here. We want to move items. We had it originally for thirty nine ninety five, which was the lowest price on eBay by like $15 for this little thing which is a Dooney and Burke duck brown tan leather vintage change coin purse wristlet. But we want to move this stuff to move, you know? We just, sure, some things can sit and marinate, but some of the storage and stuff just needs to go, man, because, you know, if we try to get topped off for a lot of these items on e-commerce land, I mean, I'll have to go buy another 40-foot containers to house things. It's craziness. But we did take an offer for 15 and uh, with shipping and taxes out the door was $19.81 shipped. This sold in nine days on eBay. It's a Disney Pins Alice in Wonderland Cheshire Cat Disneyland Resort pin brand new. And we got $7.95 shipped for it. This was a nice little find here and it was used. It took me about two minutes to clean up all the wax that was on it and just make it presentable so I could photograph it. And uh, this one did sell via promoted listings. It took 12 days to sell. It's a Sensi Authentic Full Size Blue Whale Element Wax Warmer with Box HTF. Hard to find. <laughs> ended up getting $42.01 shipped for it. Not too bad. Now this one actually surprised me, guys. We had four of these. Uh, Arby's Restaurant Employee Uniform Worker Cook Black Apron One Size Fits All. Um, we sold three for a grand total on the three for $40.35 to three individual customers. We also have one left that's currently on eBay. So it's pretty crazy. $40.35 uh, for three aprons. Um, which is like 90% of what we paid for this unit. Who would have thought that the money was in the Arby's aprons? Craziness. This took 13 days to sell on the good old eBay. Disney Pins 2015 Mickey Minnie Mouse Donald Duck Pluto Goofy 3D 5 Spinner Pin. And we ended up getting $13.81 shipped for it. This took 16 days to sell on eBay, and it did sell via promoted listings. It's a Sensi Authentic Round 5-inch Flower Wax Warmer Pedestal Stand New in the Box, and we got $14.95 free shipping for it. This took 30 days to sell on eBay. Um, you would think it would sell quicker than that, but I had it price pointed at probably like very at the very bottom lowest price point on eBay, but uh, it just took forever to sell. Disney Pixar's Cars 3. Blu-ray two disc from 2017, and we got $7.35 with free shipping for it. There's another highlight from this unit. This took 17 days to sell on eBay. It's a Sensi Authentic Mid-Size Telia White with Tree Scent Wax Warmer with Box. It was uh, used, but we got $28.95 with free shipping for it. Not too bad. This took five days to sell on eBay, and uh, it was used. I had to clean up a little bit. Sensi Lampshade Collection Brown Narrow Base Wax Warmer Pedestal Stand. And we get $20.09 shipped for it. Not too shabby. Found this laying on the floor in one of the units and said, all right, you know what, someone might probably end up buying this. So I just threw it in the washer real quick, cleaned it up, took a photograph. Sun Record Company Johnny Cash Gray Cotton Blend Youth Toddler Long Sleeve T-Shirt 2T. And we took an offer for this of $7.95 with free shipping. 
And here's an honorable mention. The reason I'm throwing the video is because it was so dirty. If you guys remember early on in the series, this jacket was so dusty, it was crazy, but it cleaned up very, very nice. Uh, it's a Dallas Cowboys Pro Line Logo Athletic Full Zip NFL Vintage Jacket with hood, extra large, had a small flaw, but it took, uh, oh gosh, it took a while. It was almost like, what was it, almost like 35 days to sell, something crazy. Um, but we, it's sold, but we're waiting for the payment as of uh, this moment making the video. Um, so if it, if it sells and we get the moolah, we get the cashola, we're going to get $42.26 shipped for it. Cross our fingers. Now this one has a story to it, but I'm not going to indulge into it right at the moment. Got to make another video about this. It was a craziness of what happened. If you're following me on Facebook, you know what I'm talking about uh, recently with uh, something where it just almost got out of control. This was the item which was a Rockford Fosgate 8-inch subwoofer with box. I was trying to sell that with the amplifier, but uh, ended up just on the subwoofer, and we got the subwoofer with the box. We got $30 for it via Facebook Marketplace. I was actually just going to take this to the dump, but I looked at it and said, you know what, maybe somebody might buy this. It was just a small little outdoor wicker table, and we got uh, $10 for it via Facebook Marketplace. We had three or four people that were interested in buying it within 24 hours, so... Uh, 10 bucks, I'll take her. I was happy to sell this on Facebook Marketplace as well. We had up there for $25. We did a meetup at the local gas station down the road with a gentleman, and he's like, would you take 20? And I was like, sure. <laughs> I just wanted it gone. Um, it was just a pretty much a generic CD player for a car stereo. Um, it came with the box, which was completely beat up, but it did work, so took 20 bucks for it. Not bad. I was kind of disappointed in this item here when I plugged it in. If you look on the right side of the screen here, you'll see some discoloration. And uh, that was the problem with this TV-DVD combo. Um, the right side of the screen, no matter what I was playing, just it was discolored. So I don't know if something got screwed up inside of the unit. But uh, I decided, you know what, maybe somebody still wants this. Maybe they're okay with having a TV that's kind of jacked up. So I put it out there for 10 bucks, and I, I had some biters, but nobody wanted to come and pick this darn thing up. Um, until just recently, a couple days ago, um, a woman's like, would you take $5? It was like on a messenger at like 3 in the morning. You know, I like the TV. I could use it. Would you take 5 And I just replied back, yeah, I can. So 5 bucks on this TV. I guess it's better than just letting it go to the dump. So as you've seen in the previous video, we sat on the side of the road for a couple hours, me and Kim, to sell some of the stuff that came out of this unit, along with past units. And we did pretty, pretty well that day. Um, but in terms of total for this particular series, we only made $12 off the items that we have here. So we still have a lot of items that are um, local sales. Not only that, we have a lot of items that are still actively on our, uh, on our eBay accounts. Um, one being the, the Louis Vuitton clutch. Will that thing sell? We have, the, uh, we have the Rockford Fosgate amp that's still out there that's local. We've got the nice Montana West purse. We've got a bunch of t-shirts that came out of here. Uh, the native uh, purse that we have as well, that was there. We got a bunch of Sensi um, products. We have a, a large lot of the mini ones of those Sensi uh, wax, Sensi things, whatever you call them. <laughs> um, we also have the other prison art frame, the Disney frame, what else? Um, oh yeah, we've got that Capone uh, wrapper calendar with the autograph. We still have one more Arby's apron and a hat. Um, so yeah. Uh, not a bad little run here with these units. It didn't take up a lot of time. I've, I've said this before. I've spent more time making these videos for you guys than the time that was ampled in actually making the process of buying the units, cleaning them out, and listing the stuff. So down the road, I'm sure we'll post uh, some stuff of when some of this other stuff sells. Definitely the Louis Vuitton. We'll find out uh, if it'll ever sell. And um, yeah, so but you know what? For just a quick little unit, in and out, just a couple hours, clearing a couple of units out, listing some stuff, we did pretty well. So Kim and I would personally like to thank all of you guys that have watched this video, if you've gotten this far, and also to a lot of you guys that have been around for years. A lot of you guys have subscribed here. Um, we're going on, I think, year eight, come 2020, of making videos here on YouTube. And we, we like sharing with you guys. We like going around and showing you our adventures, especially the storage unit stuff. I find it intriguing myself. I, I watch a lot of other YouTube resellers that buy storage units on YouTube. It's just, it's cool. It's unique. And uh, you never know what you get out of it. But uh, this was just a... Perfect example here with these, these three units that uh, even the trash can make you a little bit of money. And, um, but it's just the treasure, ha treasure hunter junkie in me that wants to just keep going out and buying more because one of these days there might be a big payout. At least that's what we're hoping for. 
Thanks again for guys watching. I really appreciate it. Go out there, be great, and we'll talk soon. Uh oh, I see Jersey action, Jackson. Oh, yeah. All right. Boston Bruins with a freaking bug or something on it. Nice Reebok size large Boston Bruins. That should be a $40 to $50 bill, so that's a nice find.